Some people just want to sit in the best seat in the house. Others actually want to create it. Take Mike Abernathy. Abernathy runs a small company called Rapid Imaging Software, or RIS, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Only five employees. Though they have an office at Kirtland Air Force Base, they often work right from their homes. RIS is small, but they have successfully accomplished very big things, and in very smart ways. Abernathy feels their size is one of their strengths. In the development of some technical ideas, a very small, highly motivated team, which is not distracted by many other things, is able to make much faster progress than an army of people plodding through mountains of paperwork. RIS has been developing software since the mid-1980s. Their mission was to put a scientific visualization program on a PC, making it easier to own and easier to use for a lot more people. It was in the mid-1990s when things began to take off for RIS, literally. At the time, they started to work on a software product line called Landform. Landform allows users to fly a vehicle through virtual terrain with very unique visual enhancements. Originally, Landform was designed with environmental and civil engineers in mind, but RIS discovered that one of their biggest customers was NASA. The company found that the software was suited for other applications, specifically flight visualization. Enter the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program. With NASA already using their software, RIS felt they could provide something NASA needed. We had a vision of being able to create a toolkit that would allow NASA engineers and ultimately commercial engineers to be able to put a flight visualization system inside their application. With funding through an SBIR award from Johnson Space Center, RIS developed a new version of Landform called SmartCam 3D. SmartCam 3D takes flight video and overlays three-dimensional geographical information, which then enhances the video and also provides a safety measure for the pilot and the vehicle. The software requires no special hardware and runs on inexpensive computers, making it highly portable and inexpensive. RIS has done what it set out to do, take complicated software and made it easy to use on a desktop set with a click and drag interface. This got NASA's attention and teaming with NASA was perfect for RIS. The reason NASA is such an important partner for this is there's some of the few people around who do experiments with flight. SmartCam 3D has been used by NASA astronauts to pilot an unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV, known as the X-38. The cameras on board the X-38 provided the video, and the graphics came from Geographical Information System, or GIS, data, as the astronauts flew the UAV from a remote cockpit on the ground. The primary benefit for us lay in the fact that we were able to test our software on flying aircraft. There are very few other places in the world that we could do that and no place that has um, the quality of resources and the understanding of flight that NASA has. Abernathy is very excited because the company's software is not just a NASA success, it's also an outside success. The company works with customers like the Canadian Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration to develop the most appropriate interface to fit their needs. When the NASA astronauts were flying the X-38 model, they suggested that the company consider applications for other UAVs. Today, RIS is working with the U.S. Army to flight test the Army's Shadow Tactical UAV using RIS software. Abernathy has set goals for what his company can accomplish, and he believes that some of the best seats in the house will use RIS software in the future. We're going to have the opportunity to take this technology that we've developed, doing something we love, and then infuse that into the commercial sector. People eventually flying, riding in airliners across the country, or flying small general aviation aircraft, which I predict we're going to see a little upswing in, in that part of aviation, are going to be deriving the benefits of this technology for years to come.